attention to a system that's moving across Oklahoma, lifting into Kansas, but it's everything a little farther to the south. This big red highlighted box, that is a tornado watch, which means that the conditions are right there for tornadoes to eventually pop up this afternoon, this evening, and then running into the overnight hours. We haven't seen any on the ground yet, but the conditions are there. Take a look at these temperatures running up into the lower to mid 80s, just to the north, temperatures falling into the mid 40s. So that warm air and cold air run into each other. That is a recipe for some big severe weather. On top of that, we're looking at very moist, humid air running into very dry air right along those same boundary lines. That is the recipe you need for a large-scale tornado situation, at least some very big severe weather, and that's what we have uh, set up here. Uh, pay attention to the timestamp. This is running from this afternoon. This is the line we're going to be talking about where big severe thunderstorms and possibly tornadoes could fire up. Very slow moving, so you run from 5 to 7 to midnight all the way into early tomorrow morning, and you've seen just very little movement out of this line. So a lot of opportunity, a lot of time for big storms to fire up over the course of this afternoon into early tomorrow. And then this is from the National Weather Service. This is a convective outlook. Very rarely do you see this big white area stretched across portions of Oklahoma back into Texas. That is a high risk for severe weather. Uh, violent tornadoes are possible. And then you look here at the uh, tornado outlook. This is very extreme uh, data. You don't get a whole lot of these outlooks with such certainty that we're going to be talking about tornadoes. Uh, that's why it's such a scary situation. Uh, also, though, good enough for people to get the information ahead of time so that they can make preparations. Yes, definitely. Thank you.